हेलो फ्रेंड्स वेलकम टू द टेंथ पार्ट ऑफ द टॉपिक प्रिंसिपल स्ट्रेसेस एंड प्रिंसिपल प्लेन्स वेर वी हैव सॉल्व्ड एग्जांपल नंबर थ्री लास्ट टाइम एंड वेल क्विकली स्टार्ट विद एग्जांपल नंबर फोर इन दिस लेक्चर विल रीड द क्वेश्चन अ पीस ऑफ मटेरियल इज सब्जेक्टेड टू अ टेंसाइल स्ट्रेस ऑफ सिक्सटी न्यूटन पर एम एम स्क्वायर एंड अ कंप्रेसिव स्ट्रेस ऑफ ट्वेंटी न्यूटन पर एम एम स्क्वायर म्यूचुअली परपेंडिकुलर टू ईच अदर दिस इज अ स्ट्रेंड मटेरियल वॉट वी आर हैविंग there will be no more deflection uh, a 60 newton per mm square force is acting in tensile nature and uh, sigma 2 is compressive mutually perpendicular to each other its value is 20 newton per mm square here it is compressive in nature find normal tangential and resultant stresses again this three equations what we have studied will be using this time on a plane inclined at 30 degree with the major principal plane so this is our major principal plane because it is carrying the maximum stress and uh, we need to find the normal tangential and resultant stresses on plane inclined at 30 degree with major principal stress so this is our plane this is angle theta this is our 30 degree inclined with this vertical plane which is acted by the sigma 1 major principal stress Mag plane carrying maximum stress is known as major principal stress or principal plane. Okay. So based on this figure, I have plotted uh, the value. The data is sigma one sixty newton per mm square. It is tensile. Sigma one is always positive as per the sign convention. Sigma two is minus twenty newton per mm square. This negative I have sign I have taken because. the direction or the nature of the stress on other plane sigma 2 is compressive it is opposite to that of the sigma 1 so it is negative minus 20 newton per mm square though in question it was not mentioned negative i have uh, written negative only because the direction of sigma 2 is opposite to that of the sigma 1 which is the sigma 1 is always positive minus 20 newton per mm square it is compressive uh there is no shear stress so its value is zero and the theta mentioned in the question is 30 this so based on this we'll find normal tangential and resultant stresses by the formula this question is actually similar to that of the question number 1 or example number 1 sigma n sigma t sigma r only these three things are required so we are writing the formulas Sigma one plus sigma two by two plus sigma one minus sigma two by two cos two theta plus tau sine two theta. This tau is shear stress, which is zero. That is not given in the question. So again, this is zero. This question is very similar to that of the question number one. Sixty minus twenty sigma one minus sigma two. This is minus twenty. Uh, so I have written minus two. Or we can write sixty plus minus twenty by two. Plus sigma one minus sigma two, the sixty plus twenty by two, cos sixty because value of theta is thirty as given in the question, cos sixty. So answer is forty newton per mm square. It is tensile because positive. Sigma t. Tensile stresses. I mean tangential stresses. Sixty uh, plus twenty by two, sigma one minus sigma two, negative negative. Here it is positive. Sin sixty minus zero. This zero is due to this zero shear stress. Value is thirty four point sixty four newton per mm square. Sigma n we have acquired. Sigma t we have acquired. The remaining is resultant of this both. Resultant stress under root of sigma n square plus sigma t square. So answer is fifty two point nine one newton per mm square. In this way, based on our equations. Sigma n, sigma t, and sigma r. We have calculated this equation. Was this question was very simple. So wait for the eleventh part of the topic: principal stresses and principal strain. Where we'll uh, start with the question number. We can say question number five. This is all for today. Thank you for watching.